या है एवरी वन माई नेम इज राम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल राम बस काफ़ी ज़्यादा टाइम हो गया इस चैनल पर कोई भी वीडियो अपलोड किए तो मैंने सोचा कि वीडियो आज अपलोड कर ही देता है सो लेट मी शो यू द प्रोजेक्ट दैट आई बीन वर्किंग ऑन फॉर अ वाइल लाइक कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जिन पर मैं काम कर रहा था तो उनमें से ही एक प्रोजेक्ट मैं आपको बताने वाला हूँ कि लाइक हाउ यू कैन मेक इट सो This is the project that I've been working on, and uh, let me show you how it's going to look. So, this is the that we were going to make in Blender. So, this is the scene, a uh, car in desert. So, it's pretty simple if you don't know how Blender. Like, if you know a few simple steps with the Blender. then you'll be able to make this look so with that being said uh let's get into it i'm going to get a new page general okay okay to dekho isme ye hai ki hum kuch add ons isme use karne wale hain to main aapko bata deta hu kaun kaun se add ons hai jo ki hum isme use karenge so sabse pehla hai uh, let me on my screen cast सो so, सबसे पहला है स्केच पैप आप सभी ने स्केच पैप वेबसाइट का नाम जरूर सुना होगा जिसमें आप थ्री डी मॉडल्स जो है आप डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं ठीक है और इसी के साथ ही साथ में स्केच पैप अपना खुद का एड ऑन भी देता है ब्रेंडर के लिए जो कि आप इसमें इंस्टॉल कर सकते हो दैन यू कैन जस्ट डायरेक्टली इम्पोर्ट दोज मेडल इन टू योर सीन लाइक आपको वेबसाइट पर जाकर लाइक सर्च करना है डाउनलोड करने की जरूरत नहीं है सेम ही एक अनदर एड ऑन है जिसे कहते हैं ब्लेंडर किट तो ये एड ऑन भी आप यूज़ कर सकते हैं तो मैं आपको दोनों को बता देता हूँ कैसे आपको यूज़ करना है ब्लाइंड किट आपको सिंपली सर्च करना है गूगल पे ब्लाइंड किट एड ऑन एंड ये यू गेट द एड ऑन सिंपली आपको डाउनलोड करना है एंड डाउनलोड जैसे ही आप फाइल से डाउनलोड कर लेते हैं सिंपली आपको एडिट में जाना है प्रेफरेंसेस एंड इंस्टॉल एड ऑन एंड ऑल यू हैव टू डू इट जस्ट सर्च फॉर दैट एड ऑन दैट यू हैव डाउनलोडेड फॉर मी लाइक इट्स राइट है ओके सेम गोज फॉर दो स्केच पैब एड ऑन सो ये सब कहते हुए एक्चुअली स्टार्ट करते हैं कि कैसे हम ये सिंपल सीन बना सकते हैं दो एड ऑन की मदद से सबसे पहले हमें और सारी चीज़ें क्लिक करनी है then uh, we going to add a car into our scene we i'm going to use the sketch pad add on so let's search for a car and uh, it will show you these results and if you want you can just go to the next page and search for more cars so right now i'm only going to use this one and the board model It's totally depend on the processing of your computer and your internet speed. And आपको देखोगे तो लाइक ये कुछ ज़्यादा ही बड़ा है तो मैं इसे थोड़ा सा स्केल डाउन कर लेता हूँ जस्ट लाइक दिस सो इट्स गोइंग टू लुक लाइक दिस लाइक वेट लीव दिस प्लेन इसके बाद हमें इसमें ड्यूल एड करने हैं तो ड्यूल एड करने के दो तरीके हैं आप खुद भी ड्यूल बना सकते हैं इसके अलावा आप लाइक डाइड ऑन का ही यूज़ कर सकते हैं ड्यूल्स के लिए सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस ड्यूल्स and it will take some time and now we have the tunes over here i'm going to scale them down not these ones uh send tunes this one it will take a bit time and now you have it shift z uh, it's so then it's only going to scale into x and y axis and then i would like to scale it on the z axis so it can look like something like this oh uh, let me just set up the weight that will look good okay so let's switch to our ev render engine and uh, we're going to on like ambient occlusion motion blur and depth of field that i'm going to add a camera into the scene shift a एड अ कैमरा एंड आपको एक जगह ढूंढनी है कि जिससे आपको लगे कि आपको कौन सा एंगल आपको पसंद आएगा लाइक फॉर मी आई डेट समथिंग लाइक दिस वंस यू हैप्पी विथ योर कैमरा एंगल लाइक योर परस्पेक्टिव ऑल यू हैव टू डू जस्ट पैस कंट्रोल एंड अल्ट दैन हिट जीरो एंड द कैमरा विल ऑटोमेटिकली स्नैप इन टू दैट परस्पेक्टिव हिट जी ऑन द की बोर्ड दैन यू कैन मूव द कैमरा अकॉर्डिंग टू योर लाइकिंग एंड 
I think this is looking very good. Uh, you can also do one thing, go to the view tab and uh, click on camera and uh, lock camera to the viewport and then you can just adjust the camera and check it and camera will snap there. Uh, now we are going to need some lighting in our scene. So I am going to use Blender kit add-on for this one because it comes with the HDRI as well. I am going to search for the tune because that's the appropriate thing. Uh, I think that's going to work. You can have the like 4K, 2K, 8K, whatever you want. I'd like to use the 10K version of it. And uh, once you're going to add this one, like it's going to be here, like this. And uh, I'm going to change the resolution of the camera as well. So for that, I'm going to see properties and I'm going to make it 1920 by 1920. So I could have like a square, so I can post it on. Uh, you would say it's yeah so it's going to look something like this so let's get started with that roof uh, like the cloth over there so first of all I'm going to add a plane and G Z to scale it up something like this and like this so it's going to look something like this I'm going to scale it up a bit more uh, move it so, if we have claw simulation use karenge, to uske liye hume karna hi hai. Hit tab on your keyboard, or uh, hit subdivide, and I'm going to use like 50 subdivision on this surface. So, once you're happy with this, all you have to do just select the corner vertices for each corner while holding the shift and left click with your mouse. You can select the multiple vertices with the same time. Or uh, once you select this, or uh, then go right here, work this or uh, vertex group and assign this pen group so now uh, let me do one more thing i'm going to go select select random and uh, select select random something like this oh once you're happy with your selection hit x and delete faces it's going to look something like this i'm not liking it so uh select select random random seed something i'm going to use like 25 i guess and like this x faces it's going to look something like this or uh, then i'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier so it can look like clothes so toe down okay so now we're going to add a cloth simulation to it click on cloth and uh, first of all we're going to need pressure shape go to the pin group assign that group for the pressure as well assign the pin group and uh, we can also use the internal string and uh, choose that as well so once you're going to hit uh, play on your keyboard like this okay let me see like it's not working well so with the subdivision surface modifier right up above it so I'm going to the pressure shape in group right here and yeah this is what we're talking I guess we left something yeah so the pin top is not here that's why okay no issue with that I can do one more thing Center, I guess the center. First, 
like this and uh, so yeah it's going to look something like this. let me assign those pin groups again uh, this this and this go to the pin group assign and voila it's going to look something like this or oh, let me move it upward yeah now it looks good shade out the smooth and now we're going to add the subdivision surface modifier like this so it's going to work pretty well like this okay and once you're happy with this uh, we can also going to add those pipes around it so for that just select those vertices shift t p selection and uh, select all these extrude them and uh, i'm going to remove these from it complete now right click convert to curve and uh, go to the curve properties go to geometry and increase the depth and the resolution like 8 once you're happy with it like this or uh, right click again convert to mesh so it can look like this so if you're going to camera view it's going to look like this and i'm going to use like 2D. If you want a 10 second animation, uh, right now it's uh, for 24 per frames or 20 frames per second, so that's why it's 240 for 10 second. And if you want it for 5 second, make it like 150, and it's also going to work. Let me add some of the keyframes here. I'm going to use like location and rotation. We go right there. Oh, sorry. Let me apply the scale. Yeah. So um, let me move it a bit closer. Press I rotation rotation. So you'll have this kind of animation going on. Once you're happy with all of this, uh, we're going to start uh, adding some of the textures on it. So, first of all, I'm going to add a material on it. So, I'm going to search for a dirty cloth. And uh, this was the material that I used. Once it's done, stem goes for this. I'm going to have a rusty metal. and i'm going to assign this one to this so this is how it's going to be shape smooth so that's how you can make a simple scene using two add-ons and you can add more details according to your liking and if you want the output properties of this so you can either have the png sequence or you can choose the ffm ff mpeg video then go to encoding and choose it for mpeg 4 and press f12 and it will uh, you'll get your end video so thank you for watching my tutorial guys make sure you liking and subscribing my channel and uh, wait for next video thank you